Okay, so the wife and kid are going out of town for the holidays to go see family. I'm going to stay here and work, but I get to build her this, which she's been wanting and asking for for about two years now. So when she's gone, then we get a chance to build it. It's going to take time away from the shop, but, you know, my wife deserves it, and maybe we can make an extra one here. Yep. Bye. Hey guys, Chris with Devo's Woodcraft here. Trying to figure out a way to utilize these scraps is not the easiest thing to do. These scraps are full of wormholes and knots and small imperfections that really don't work that great for food grade type products. So I had this idea and it's been in the works for a couple of years for my wife for a present to make her this entryway bench that she's always wanted. I went a little over the top of this one because I turned it into a chaotic instead of just an edge grain style bench, but well worth it, I think. These scraps end up, some of them are dimensional, and then um, the majority of them have to be recut so that they're sized to be in the, the same dimension so that I can glue them up in these panels. The whole part of the chaotic process is gluing up these panels and then planing them to get them smooth, cutting them, flipping them to, at 90 degrees, and then re-gluing, and then doing that whole process over and over and over. Three to five times, depending on how intricate you want that chaotic pattern to be. So there is a, a big part of this that is really repetitive for a video. Gluing, planing, cutting, flipping, gluing, and repeat. That was actually the first time out of all my glue-ups I've ever had a panel just explode on me. It was a really wide panel. It was about 30-something inches wide and only a half inch thick. And it started bowing under pressure. And right when I was thinking about putting some clamps on top of it, it exploded. Okay, this is round three. It should be the last one before the cut and flip. is now time for the exciting part this is where we get to plane them see if they're ready to go we should be able to cut them to their final dimension at this point we're going to do the ingrain top and then the matching legs and then we'll be able to find out our dimensions to do the sides the faces the back and the front That'll work. 
Now for the fun part. Oh, not too bad. Boy, that's gonna be sweet. Man, I've had my fair share of kickbacks, and I tell you what, they are no less scary than when I was doing this when I was a kid. That would have been fun.
pretty excited. Can't wait to see how this turns out. Thank you. Came out pretty sweet. Should work. Okay, I think it went together pretty well. It's a fast paced thing trying to get all the glue and all the pieces glued up before anything starts setting and any kind of you know gaps you might have or spacing. So use some Festo boxes and some other shims in there to shim up the top so that I could get just enough height on the, uh, the faces so they stuck up. Not light. <laughs> oh man.
So we got her sanded through all the grits last night. It was a long night. We went from 60 to 80 to 120 to 180 to 220 grit, and then we raised the grain. Now it's time for the final sand and finish. Done, that's 320, that is smooth.